Uh, oh wow, this is an interesting one it's based on the polar equation that which is the following graph of the uh, is the graph of 3 cos theta plus 2 <clears throat> in the polar form. So let me write the equation separately of theta is 3 cos theta plus 2. I'll tell you a really easy way uh, which works pretty well with the options to rule them out and to you know find the answer for especially such polar coordinate. Find the range of R. Find range. What, what do I mean by the range of R? Range of R means that find the maximum value and the minimum value of R. Maximum value of R, because F theta is nothing but R, right? R is equal to 3 cos theta plus 2. The maximum value of R is going to be when cos is maximum. And cos is maximum when it is 1. So the maximum value will become 3 times 1 plus 2, which is 5. The minimum value of R, in fact, remember that we are always looking for the minimum value of absolute value and maximum value of the absolute value. So if we talk about the minimum value of R, that will be when cos is negative 1. So this will be 3 times negative 1 plus 2, which is negative 1. But since I'm looking for the minimum value of absolute value of R, obviously the minimum value of absolute value of R will just be 0 because it cannot be negative 1. So the minimum of absolute value must be 0. Just this is a really important concept. In fact, you should know it if you don't know it already, that finding the absolute value of R gives, gives you actually the minimum distance from the center or the pole and the maximum distance from the center to which your graph can go. And if your R minimum is coming negative, then absolute value of R minimum is just 0. It's kind of a... Uh, Eventually, you have to just learn that this is how it works. Now, if we know the minimum value of R and maximum value of R, I know that my graph must start, must cross the origin because at origin or the pole only, the minimum, the minimum value is just zero. And clearly, all four of them are crossing the pole. So all four can be the answer, at least with this thing. But the maximum value of R from the center can be five, not more than that. It cannot be less than that as well. So you can clearly see that this is only four, this is only four, these are only four. It cannot be the answer because we just said that the maximum value of R should be five. So A and B are not possible. <clears throat> here clearly we have a five and here clearly we have a five as well. So this can be the answer. All right, this can be the answer. Now. Uh, another major difference between these two is here the value of r equal to 1 is possible, you know, somewhere at theta equal to, uh, uh, because here the value of r is coming 0 to be at two instances, like it is 0 uh, for some value of theta and then it is again looping back and then again it is coming as theta equal to 0. So how can we figure that out? whether that's a C or D. So we're gonna need some uh, more work over here. Let me clear this up. Okay. If I put theta equal to pi over um, two, at pi over two, what is the value of cos, t, cos pi over two? That's zero. So this will become zero and this will become two over here. So this means that R is equal to two indeed okay if theta is equal to pi then the value of r will become um cos pi is just minus one so this will become negative one over here okay and if theta is equal to three pi over two once again the value of r will become two because cos of three pi over two is zero so it's just one over uh, it's just zero plus two which is just two okay now what what does that mean what does that mean? If I am at pi over two, my value is two, which is clearly two over here as well and two over here as well. If I'm at three pi over two, I'm still at two, which is two here uh, and two here as well. But if I'm at pi, 
my value is one, negative one. So absolute value of r is one. But here you can clearly see that if you are at pi, because pi is just like a horizontal line, it is either zero or five, which is not correct. Because at pi, it is one, absolute value is one as well, because its distance from the pole is one, which clearly is an option D. Its distance from the center is one. Hence the correct choice is option D. It was a tricky one, I know, but yeah, this is how.